This brass cartridge in my hand isn't a 5.56 or 223 bullet cartridge. Even though it says caliber 223 Remington on it, it's not a bullet cartridge. It's a laser. And we're going to see how this cartridge-shaped green laser boresighter tool can be used to help you zero out your scope or optic on this episode of Moondog Industries. All right, this is what you get in the box, or at least this is the box itself. It uh, shipped to me inside of a Amazon pouch, so this was the only thing that was inside. The case is plastic, nondescript, other than saying made in China, and a uh, barcode label for, I guess, for uh, the warehouse, but really non-branded. So let's take a look inside. And we have a user manual, so be sure to read your user manual on how to use your products before using them. And we have uh, some disclaimers about lasers. We have the laser bore cider cartridge here. As you can see, it looks exactly, and of course it should, uh, be the same shape as a 556223 cartridge. And we have three sets of batteries. Now, interestingly and conveniently, they put these little uh, button batteries, and these are really tiny hearing aid button batteries, together, um, and they've uh, taped it or shrunk wrapped them uh, together so it's easier to load in to the battery compartment because originally older style you had to put in put them in one at a time and inevitably i don't know how this happens but they end up going in the wrong direction so you want to place them in to the battery chamber and then screw in the cap and there you go it's already illuminating so unfortunately there is no on and off button uh, once you place the cap on it turns on so um, you are draining it continuously until you unscrew and take off the battery, take out the battery. There's uh, no other way to turn it off. But they, can, they do give you three sets of batteries, so hopefully this will last at least, each one of these will last at least a good half hour or so or whatever time you need to zero out your scope. So that's what you get. Now these are fairly standard LR41 batteries, so you can replace them, but of course when you do buy your own button batteries, they won't be conveniently um, connected like these. But I guess uh, you could probably do it yourself using maybe some shrink wrap or some tape. I don't know. Anyway, uh, otherwise you'll have to do it the old fashioned way, one at a time. So let's take this out to the range and uh, we'll zero out a scope and see how well this works. We're at the range and while I'm getting set up, remember to hit that like button if you've been liking this video so far. So for this demo, we're actually going to be zeroing out a brand new scope. This is a Discovery EDPRS 5 to 25 by 56 that I'm testing and evaluating. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and you'll be notified when I post that review video. And here I'm attaching a phone camera mount to the eyepiece so that you'll be able to see what I'm seeing through the scope. Then we just screw on the battery cap to the laser bore cider to power it on. All right, got this set up. We're gonna chamber this. And we're gonna see if I can even see this. So can we see, I'm just gonna bring this down from 25 nine power all right I cannot see the laser at all and granted the scope is not necessarily zeroed but I cannot see it with the naked eye I can't see it with a scope if you cannot see the lip there's no real aiming with this so well as you can see or not see as in this case we can't see the dot at 100 yards in broad daylight so there's really no point in trying to zero out the scope using this tool at this distance uh, so let's go over to the 50 yard pistol range and see if we can actually see the dot a little bit closer the range rules do not allow me to bring a rifle to the pistol range but we can still test out the laser bore sighter by itself 
and we can clearly see the dot on the bench, and let's see if this will paint those target stands 15 yards away. And no, the unit just wasn't powerful enough to project a dot 15 yards away that was visible to the naked eye in broad daylight. Now, it may not be clear in this camera footage here, but it was plenty bright up close. One benefit to using this laser bore sighter is once inserted, your gun cannot fire, because this is not a live bullet, this is a battery-powered laser that renders your gun inert and safe. I've set up a target here at 10 yards, and we're seeing the dot, but it's very faint. In fact, it's more visible on the brown cement wall than on the white paper target. So let's take down this paper target, and I'm gonna put up a partially enclosed box and see if the dot is more visible in shade. Now, as you can see here, we can see the laser dot uh, when it's in shade, and we are uh, looking at a box about 15 yards away. So it is visible in these conditions, but not so much in broad daylight outdoors. So you could use this laser bore cider uh, indoors or in, in shade. In this case, um, just bring out a, an ammo box, or in this case, I, I brought out a cardboard box downrange. Uh, not too far away, uh, but it is usable. And if you know what kind of ballistic drop you have with your particular cartridge uh, and caliber and what distance you want to zero out at, uh, you can make those calculations. In, in my case, I know that this particular scope is zeroed out for this rifle using uh, Winchester White Box 556. So if we zoom in, this is a first focal plane scope, so this is easier to, to determine this. Um, this dot is approximately two mils below our center crosshairs at this distance. So I know that if I zero out another scope that is also uh, set in mils, I can um, compensate and set up that particular reticle at two mils below um, and at this distance and get it zeroed out. That isn't to say that green lasers aren't visible at distance. In my previous tests uh, with a stem type laser bore sighter that uses a larger battery, I could see the dot out to 100 yards with my naked eye. And you can kind of see what I'm talking about here in this video footage from my past video review. And I'll include links to those other video reviews in uh, this video's description. Well, where do we net out with this bore sighter? It's kind of a catch-22. The battery and the unit needs to be small enough to fit in your chamber, uh, but because it's so small, it just it doesn't have enough power to project out to, say, 100 yards where I'd feel comfortable zeroing out my scope. That is to say, it's not usable. It's just that you have to use it at a much closer distance, as you saw. I was able to see it enclosed, or perhaps if you were indoors at a range, maybe at 25 yards or 50 yards in an indoor range, you could use it to zero out. But it, at that point, you're going to have to use some ballistic calculations and adjust your reticle um, for whatever distance you're zeroing out to, as you saw. At 10 yards, I would have to apply a two mil adjustment to have it zeroed out at 100 yards. Now, the plus side of that Catch-22 is because the unit is so small, you can take it with you anywhere. I mean, it'll easily fit into any mag pouch, your pocket, or just toss it in your range bag and you could bring it with you all the time. And if you are interested in picking up one of these bore sighter kits, even just as a backup, you can find more information on my blog at moondogindustries.com. And if this video was helpful and maybe changed your mind about this laser bore cider, please hit that like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Moondog, out. Hey, I'd like to know what you thought of this video. Leave me a comment or chat with me on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, MeWe, Instagram, or Locals. And if you want to see all of my videos, go to moondogindustries.com.